Start out right off, this is not a paid promotion. These are my opinions on this laser. Longer Ray 5 laser. I've had this for quite a while and I've got a lot of hours on it. So I'm going to give you an overview of what I think of this machine and probably tell you why you see it in so many of my videos. Coming up. I'm Roger walking to the shop. What I'm going to talk about here is the longer Ray 5 laser sitting right here. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen this in at least a few of them. Actually, quite a few because I use this one quite a bit. I have put a lot of hours on this particular laser doing projects, mainly because it has this SD card feature which allows me to run this untethered and just repeat projects right off the screen. At the very onset, uh, Longer did provide this to me to uh, assemble and review and demonstrate, of which I did uh, quite a while back. But since then, because of this particular feature here, with being able to re repeat projects, it's become very, very handy. I don't have to keep a computer tethered to this. I could just set it off in the corner and let it run. Um, I did make some modifications to it. I added this little cable loop up here. Uh, for the X travel here to keep my airline. I also added air assist. Uh, these were things I added. They didn't provide any of this stuff. And this has been upgraded from a 5 watt head to a 10 watt head. Uh, this was uh, my initial test when the longer was new with the 5 watt head. And then when I put the 10 watt head on, I did another test. And of course, it looks like this. And that was quite a while ago. And I have, of course, this doesn't have an hour meter, so I can't tell you how many hours are on it. So I ran another test yesterday just to see if the laser had degraded very much because I run this at 100% a lot when I'm doing cutting. So here is the latest. There it was when it was new. You see, there is very, very little difference there for the number of hours that I have on this laser. So I'm really impressed with that. Uh, that's probably got to be one of my high points on this. The uh, travel on this is accurate. It's repeatable. It goes back to where I want it every single time. You can probably see the spoil board here. has got a couple little spoils there where that was my mistake because I had my part over here instead of over here and the laser started to shoot there before I caught it. Um, I also have a little burn here where I went outside of one of my patterns, but that was operator error, not laser error. Okay, have I had any problems with this? Well, other than the operator error things I have told you about, but everybody makes these mistakes. I had an issue with this thing just tripping off in flame alarm when there was no flame. And I did a video here a while back on what was causing that. Uh, I had used this over in the other bay and I had the overhead door open. It was very, very early in the morning and the sun was shining into the shop and I would start the laser and almost instantly it would trip on flame alarm and I well okay we'll start over and I went to start over and it only went a couple millimeters of trip to get a flame alarm and I'm thinking what in the world well then it dawned on me because it was dawn with that sun shining in at that low angle it was hitting the sensor on the back of the motherboard back here and was Setting, setting this off into alarm. I also found that if it, the light was extremely bright from the sun outside and I happened to walk in front of this and cast a shadow and then the light would come back it would trip that flame alarm. So that's just something to keep in mind is don't try to use this out in the sun because it just doesn't work. That's, uh, that means the flame alarm works like it's supposed to. It's detecting that ultraviolet light. So is it accurate? Yes and you can repeat that accuracy time after time. I uh, recently did a bunch of these uh, three-dimensional pumpkins. This is only one half of one of them. But you can see the little spider webs there. That's uh, you got to have a pretty accurate laser to be able to cut that effectively. It's three millimeter plywood and we I had to make a whole bunch of these for an event. Uh, I have a video on my channel of making these too. If you'd like to get into the 3D pumpkin thing. So yes it does very accurate work and as I said it's it repeats so if I would set my uh, 
cut up on a, my honeycomb board, which I don't have on here right now, and I put the file on that SD card, and I can run it from and just time after time after time. I can cut two of these pumpkins at once on a board uh, on this one because of the planks I get are long and narrow because they're cheap. I can cut two at a time. When it's done, lay the next plank down, hit start on the screen. I don't have to mess with the computer on there because I already had the G code set. So, yes, that's a big plus. Well, can you make any money with one of these lasers? Oh, you bet you can. Uh, we do a lot of ceramic tile coasters, we do slate coasters, we do cork coasters, all laser engraved. Uh, we do uh, a lot of engraved signs. And what I have here in my hand is a six layer laser cut sign. Yeah, there's a little bit of a work, a little bit of work to it, but once you get this down and you have your pattern set, you, you can crank these out at pretty good pace. And that's not hand painted, that's each layer is spray painted. And then it all goes together very quickly. So there's uh, just one project, and I've got some more I'm going to have coming up on showing you how you can make money with your laser. Of uh, again, coasters, signs different types of engraving, different types of cutouts, lots of things you can do. This laser will pretty much do them all. Uh, you can put a roller on it. I have not done that on this one. I rarely ever use a roller. Uh, maybe at some point here in the future I'll get one of the rollers out and we'll hook it up to this and I'll show you how it works. So that's my overview of the longer laser because the longer I have it, see what I did there, the more I like it. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop, longer Ray 5 laser. My overview of it after a long time using the longer and a lot of hours. It's holding up well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, and this was not a paid promotion. This is just my opinion here.